My name is Tracy. I am a medical oncologist. We've got a bustling family. Um, I've got three girls. Kaya, she is six, almost seven next week. The middle is Lainey, she's four. And my youngest is Maggie, she just turned two in March. She was normal at birth. She didn't get diagnosed until she was about 14 months old. I started paying attention and finding little things that were different. And she had hit all of her milestones uh, right on time. But I, you know, this bump on her back that wasn't quite right and she wasn't quite crawling right and she had this hearing loss. And I said, I think something else is going on. It was on a Monday that we found out and I was at work in clinic. That x-ray finding that was really the moment that, you know, was, I think, shocking. MPS-1 is one in a hundred thousand, so getting a diagnosis like this is so devastating. We moved really fast after that. It's been just this whirlwind. You know, Maggie assuredly has symptoms that will, you know, last her whole life because we didn't diagnose her early enough because she didn't have newborn screening. Now she soon had an audiologist. She had an ear, nose, and throat doctor ophthalmologist, like a behavioral and developmental therapist. She's a physical therapist. She has this uh, hearing teacher. We haven't even still finished accumulating her team members. Sometimes it can make it really challenging to, um, to keep her care cohesive with all these people too. A lot of the current efforts are to sort of you know, get her to be as typical as we can. And I'm still learning what exactly that looks like. Good screening test is something that, if you catch it early, you can intervene. The federal government puts out this list of diseases that they recommend each state's include. And I learned that this is really state-specific thing and that the list of diseases screened for is different in every state. I really support a federal initiative to help states do this. You can, you know, take one little blood sample and, and screen for everything, then I think that it's really important for these diseases to be incorporated in newborn screening and for parents to be aware of even what their kids are being tested for. Very few people know what tests are on the newborn screening. You know, my first advice would just be kind of know what your own state tests for. I can see it being really scary to not even know where to turn. I think that's when the MPS Society is really useful. They have a lot of sort of patient-directed materials. I think it can be really hard to know where to get the right information right after a diagnosis. Newborn screening can prevent months, sometimes years of not knowing what's going on with your child, of having symptoms that you can't explain. This long period till diagnosis, which is potentially a time you could be treating these kids, it's really life altering for those kids you diagnose. Maggie's story is a really classic one for why we should do newborn screening.